All right, we're still in the um, adjusted trial balance or creating the financial statements, Objector 3.4. We have just finished creating the adjusted trial balance. Now we have to create the financial statements, which we're going to do. However, what I wanted to do was um, just point out that to use these, uh, the adjusted trial balance or the trial balance, but now that we're doing accrual accounting, kind of adjusted trial balance, you have revenue less all these expenses. So if you want to know what net income is, if you're not creating the financial statement, you just want to know what net income is, the number, you would have your expenses, which is 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So it would be 22,000 less 14,000. Looks like net income is 8,000. You're beginning, and now you want your statement, of, you want to know what retained earnings ending balance is, 26,000 plus the 8,000. And then you take the 4,000 of dividends. So this is net income here. Dividends, less the dividends of 4,000. It looks like your ending, retained earnings ending is 30,000. Retained earnings beginning. Okay, now that's not a statement of retained earnings. It's not an income statement. I'm just trying to point out how easy it is to use the adjusted trial balance to get the numbers. And likewise, if somebody asks you for total assets, don't forget that accumulated depreciation. 15,000 plus 2 is 17, plus 3 is 20, uh, plus 2 is 22, plus 6 is 82, and 82 minus 5. I'm going to say it's 77,000. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. So that would be total assets. Of course, a balance sheet is formatting all of that. But um, uh, it, it's more likely, in terms of just examination, that I would be asking you um, for, I'd be giving you just a trial balance, ask you for that income or whatnot. So, onward to creating the financial statements. And, um, oops. Let's see. Here's the income statement. Now what I've done is I've just pointed to the revenue and expense items in the adjusted trial balance. I'll make this template available to people if they want to use it. So it just kind of speeds things up. So this I just set equal to this number over here. And then I said, make this salary expense equal to this number over here. Then all I had to do was copy paste it down. So here's your net income of 8,000. And the statement of retained earnings, net, start with 26. Add 8 in net income. Uh, subtract out 4,000 dividends, you end up with 30,000. I'm not going to go through uh, the balance sheet. Um, I think this is pretty adequate. Let's jump over here. We'll look at the uh, income statement and balance sheet. All right. So there they are in all their glory. And um, I guess I'm emphasizing when you get an adjusted trial balance, you're like, oh, I want to create my balance sheet. And if you get a question... What is total stockholders' equity? Let's flip back and see what was common. Common stock is 13000 So what is total stockholders' equity? Retained earnings was 26 there, so it's not 39 Total stockholders' equity equals uh, 13, common stock plus RE, retained earnings. And here it's 13,000. Oops. What in God's green earth happened? Let's see what we got over here. Net income was 8. And retainer is 30. I think I updated the problem, so. 22 
this is 22 and 8 and 26 and 8 it's a 30 okay just to be consistent with what we did so plus the 30,000 equals 43,000 obviously if you would have used the retained earnings from the old one you would have been off okay by 4,000 bucks so Retain earnings is the only item on the adjusted trial balance that has to be updated. Okay, I won't call it an adjustment. I'll just say an updating. Because adjustments have to do with accrual accounting, um, recognizing revenue expenses. This is just updating the balance. All right. I do want to point out uh, two really good problems. It's the mid-chapter uh, summary problem, page 156. And the demo doc, both in my lab and at the end of your chapter, the, the one in my lab, it's the videos, so they, there's a voice that walks you through it. If you like that thing, if you're a person that wants to read it, then it's also at the end of your chapter. Those are really great cases. They basically do what we did, but they have all the T accounts laid out, walk you through creating the adjusting journal entries, creating the adjusted trial balance, and then the financial statements. Okay, so that's it for uh, creating the financial statements. Now we're going to talk about closing entries in the next video.